Engineer Dr. Lee Biwa. Sir, in 2018, Minister revealed that the accidents involving PMDs, bicycles and power-assisted bikes increased three-four in 2017. Can the Minister share some updated statistics for 2018? How many such accidents were serious enough that someone was sent to hospital? I understand the Active Mobility Advisory Panel's preference to prioritise reduction of accidents. But accidents will happen, and some of them will be so serious that they require large, hefty medical fees. Without insurance, the perpetrator or victim will have trouble paying off these fees. It is a double blow when the accident victim writes as part of his work, and he can no longer do so because he is injured or his vehicle is damaged. For a start, perhaps let us make it mandatory for all employers who rely on their employees to use PMDs for work purposes. The government can work with insurance companies to help companies get a more affordable deal. Compulsory registration of e-scooters will make it easy to implement mandatory insurance. I know most e-scooters will not get into accidents. But the same can be said for car drivers, and motor insurance is still mandatory. And just like for cars, we need constant enforcement to make sure people stay within the rules. Residents have been given feedback that during morning peak hours, there are a lot of PMDs, e-scooters, bicycles, zooming along covered lingways leading to MRT stations. This is very dangerous for pedestrians. Can the minister share how much LTA has stepped up enforcement and how LTA decides how much enforcement they should do? Next, to prevent unnecessary accidents in housing estates, it would be prudent to ban bicycles and PMDs at areas which are crowded or known to be accident prone. The best organisation to do so would be the Town Council, which receives a lot of feedback on such issues. Can LTA consider giving Town Councils the power to decide where cycling and PMD riding should be banned for the safety of residents, especially young children and the elderly? Last but not least, I wish my favourite Minister speedy recovery. Thank you.